As Christians, we are called to love and to put our love into action. In the Episcopal Church, every person that's baptized has to answer this question. Quote, will you strive for the justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Every person baptized must answer, I will, with God's help. Further, in our gospel, Jesus gave us the great commandment, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. The Apostle Paul says in his letter to the Romans that, quote, Love does no harm to its neighbor, unquote. These are the guideposts of our faith and the bar to which we must strive as we live our lives. This is who we are, and because this is who we are, we must absolutely stand with you, the trans community, and I'm coming to assure you of just that. I have had the great honor to ordain trans persons to the priesthood, and trans and non-binary people are active and essential to our collective life in this diocese. My early ordained ministry is formed by helping several people walk the difficult road of transition, and I've been so completely blessed and changed myself through the blessing of that journey. The Episcopal Church has a history of taking action to affirm that trans and non-binary people are beloved children of God and of taking material action to ensure their safety and full inclusion in the society and in the church. In addition, our presiding Bishop Michael Curry and the President of the House of Deputies, Reverend Gay Clark Jennings, have spoken against discrimination against trans people and in June 2016, the Executive Council of the Episcopal Church passed a resolution, quote, decrying the wave of anti-trans bills that have been sweeping this country, unquote. At our diocesan convention here in Western Washington of a year ago, we overwhelmingly passed a resolution which among other things said this, the Diocese of Olympia affirms that all transgender and non-binary people and anyone whose gender identity and expression differs from that assigned at birth are beloved children of God and are to be treated with equal rights and privileges as other human beings. And further, the Diocese of Olympia opposes any legislation or public policy that defines sex and or gender on the basis of physical appearance of external genitalia present at birth or presence of certain chromosomes within a person's DNA. And further, the Diocese of Olympia encourages educational, pastoral, liturgical, and legislative efforts that seek to end systemic violence against transgender people, calling special attention to violence against transgender women of color. We affirm and stand by that pledge to this day. I'm honored to bring this message to you directly this night. Our prayers are with you, but more than that, our bodies, our souls, our energy is with you too. We will not only pray, but we will be there with you. And we will remember on this day all those who have been heckled, abused, demeaned, tortured or killed. What I want you to hear is that we stand with you in action and vow to continue to speak up and act up until your rights, your safety, your value, your worth are secure and assured. I wish all God's blessings on you. You are beloved children of God. Blessings to all of you. <laughs>